So I wanted to share with you a little bit about how to trim your own bangs at home. I wanted to start off first by saying this is an advanced skill. <laughs> So if you don't feel comfortable trimming your bangs at home, I would definitely suggest calling up a local salon and asking them to trim them. At my salon that I work at, we offer complimentary bang trims if you are a person that comes in and I cut your hair. Most salons will also have a minimal charge if you just wanted your bangs trimmed. So it would cost, you know, I don't know, five to twenty dollars to get your bangs trimmed. So something to consider that uh, if you're ready for for a full haircut but can't quite afford to go in just yet. Uh, it's a thriftier way to, to just call your salon and ask if they do bang trims. So that being said, today I'm gonna cut our model's hair just right below the eyebrow. I would not do your own bangs if this was the first time that you've had them. Like if she had all one length hair and wanted to put in bangs, I would definitely recommend going to a professional to see that. Um, one thing to keep in mind here is that we wanna cut the bangs within the slope of the head. I've definitely seen people that pull their bangs from too shallow of a point, and I've also seen people that grab them from uh, too deep of a point, so they're taking hair from the, the crown of the head and bringing it forward. What happens if you pull, like if you were nervous and you were like, well, I'm just gonna cut a little bit of a bang, you're going to cut you know, just what's around the front hairline, and then you're always gonna have this piece of hair that falls over the top of it. So you just wanna go with the natural shape of the head. One way that I used to use to determine that is you take a big comb and you stick it on the top of your head. Now you can see where the comb starts to lift off of the head, where there's a little bit of space, that's the start of the forehead. So you'd wanna use that as your guide. You wouldn't wanna go behind it and you wouldn't wanna go forward. Another thing I would recommend is when you're cutting bangs at home, do it on freshly styled hair do it on dry hair. So I would start with normal clean hair and I would take both of the sides and I'm just gonna pin them out of the way so that none of this longer hair gets into the bang. All right. So another thing I wanted to say is for most of us, our bangs never pass our temple. The temple is the further point of the top of our forehead. Um, it would be rare that you would see bang come in from anywhere here. Um, so keep that in mind. You don't want to go, you know, from the corner of your brow up is a good, a good reasonable amount. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hair now into two sections. I'm going to take a bottom section and a top section. You can take as many sections as you want to, as you feel comfortable with. If you want to start out really slow, you can take smaller sections. And I'm just going to pin that out of the way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hair that is just in the center. So maybe arch of the brow to arch of the brow. I'm gonna start with this little piece here. What you're gonna wanna do at home is you're gonna wanna take your comb and go in from the underside, comb it down. You wanna try to level this out as much as you can and then just bring it down to the length that you want it. So I want it kind of bridge of the nose right underneath the brow bone. And then you're gonna take your scissors. I would definitely recommend if you're gonna do this at home to get some actual hair cutting scissors, no kitchen shears, please. If this is your very first time, maybe go down, you know, half an inch lower than the point that you wanna be, just till you get the hang of it. The next thing that you're gonna do is I'm gonna have you go upwards. An upward motion is going to create a little bit of texture and avoid a blunt line. You never wanna see a harsh line. If I went in and just cut them like this, you'd see a very harsh line that would be very hard to come back to. So I'm going in upward, I'm not going at an angle, and you get little soft light bangs. And the comb is gonna be your guide as to if your bangs are straight or not. Now, you can take these side pieces and pull them into the center, and then you wanna line them up with your shortest hair. And the reason I'm doing that is what I'm actually doing is I'm over directing the hair. Just wanna bring your bang, the sides of them all the way to the center and even them out. But that's a good way to not mess it up. I wouldn't try to go in and you know freehand this a little bit longer than this, you're gonna get into trouble. All right, and then you're gonna pull down your next layer, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure when you brush that hair down that you can still see the short pieces underneath. If you pull it down and you can't see that, that first section that you did, you've actually lost your guideline. 
So be sure that you can still see that, which I can. And then you're gonna go into just that center piece, remember. Short little snips. Then you're gonna wanna pull the side. You're gonna meet that shortest piece. Always placing the hair afterwards back in its natural position. Take a little step back, look at it, make sure that you're happy with things. Bring your last piece down. And what you can actually do with this last piece is you can grab the center port part of the hair, the same center that we've been doing the whole time. And as long as you can see the short pieces underneath, you can pull this straight out. And now I'm only cutting these to the length of the bottom pieces. I'm not adding, I'm not making it any shorter. You can if you're feeling a little bit more daring. Remember going straight up, not at an angle, not even at a little angle. You can go in and you're texturizing. So you're taking and you're adding a little of, a little aeration, a little dimension, and I'm just evening it up to the guide. And if, if this is definitely your first time and you're just trying to see for the day, only do the center part. Ignore the sides. The sides will blend into the rest of your layering. Um, so by just kind of concentrating on the center portion, you can open up your eyes and see again. I can see again. Hooray! <laughs> so that's how I would suggest trimming your bangs at home. <laughs>